Almighty Father, help us to be still in your presence. Speak to us your word in the power of your Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Over last year or so, COVID pandemic and the lockdown has disrupted our routine and usual way of life. In one way or another, it has been a tough year. For many, the impact on our lives and the society has been detrimental. Although we have adapted to the new routine of homeschooling, working from home, online worship, shielding, and much more, it is not the way we would like to continue for much longer. Our desire is to resume our normal way of life. I'm sure, like me, you have personally felt the loss and the pressures of living under restrictions at various levels. Holy Saturday usually have been a day of heightened activity for me and for my parish churches, which has not been possible for the second year running. Holy Saturday usually was spent clearing all the Good Friday and death symbolism from the church building and preparing it for the Easter day. The church building usually used to be full with flower arrangers and those who organized Easter hunt and other activities. Sometime, I think, have we really dealt with the death of Jesus and Good Friday in an appropriate manner? Is it not too early to think about Easter and resurrection? This year, as I reflect on my experience of last year's Holy Saturday, I feel a sense of inactivity and loss of control due to the lockdown restrictions. Holy Saturday is a liminal space between Good Friday, a day of despair, and Easter, a day of renewed hope. The Good Friday is a day of anguish, death and darkness, where all seemed to be lost. The darkness had won, the evil had triumphed. In Disney film Thumblina, at one point the leading character utters the words, The darkness has killed everything, even the sun. Sun is the source of light. And if it is darkened, there is nothing left to give light. On Good Friday, the Son of God, source of light and life, had been killed, and it appeared that all was lost. I believe that Holy Saturday is a time to be silent, to reflect, and to wait for God's comfort and peace. It appears that somehow, we have lost that sense of disruption and pain Jesus' family and friends had to go through and is experienced even today by those who lose a loved one. My experience of dealing with death as I was growing up in Pakistan and even recently at the time of my parents' death, I believe is richer than the one I have had in the United Kingdom. All the rituals and burials usually happen on the day of death, and there is highly rushed activity to get things done. The family and friends themselves prepare the body for burial and bury it. The day after the death and burial is a time of lull, where the mourners gather to remember the dead and to console each other. Things would have been pretty much the same in the time of Jesus. Even today, the Jewish religion requires the burial within 24 hours of the death. After Jesus' death and rushed burial on Good Friday, Holy Saturday for the family and friends of Jesus would have been a day of reflection on the events of the past few hours, days, weeks, months and even years. But it appears to me that they were not able to gather together because of the circumstances surrounding the death of Jesus and the nature of his death. 
the disciples were afraid of the authorities, so did not want to be associated with Jesus for personal security. Day after Jesus' death was a Sabbath, when no activity was allowed. Sabbath is a day of rest, day of inactivity, day of worship, day of dependence on God and being still in His presence. I am painfully all too aware of the loss many of us have suffered during the lockdown, but due to the restrictions, haven't had the chance to mourn or say final goodbye to our loved ones in the way we would have liked to. We are still in this time of in-between space, where we do look forward to the time when we will resume our usual life and activities and will be able to honour our loved ones together with family and friends, but we are not there yet. In a way, last year or so has been a liminal space between the pre-COVID life and what is to come. This time of restricted activity is a time to reflect and to learn before we move to the post-COVID world, whatever that looks like. I suppose, as the disciples did not get back to the pre-Good Friday life after Easter Day, we will certainly not find ourselves in a pre-COVID world again. COVID will have changed how we will live our lives, how we will worship and socialize. The disciples experienced the power of God and the glory of Jesus through his death on Good Friday and resurrection on Easter Day, but they had to go through the Holy Saturday experience. May we use this time of restrictions, fear and loss, what Bishop Tom Wright calls a holy Saturday moment, a time to reflect, a time to mourn the loss of lives, livelihood, collective worship, singing, mission and socialising opportunities. May we look forward to a time of renewed hope and energy, where we are released into new ways of worship and mission as the rejuvenated people through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Victory has already been won on Good Friday. We need to look to its manifestation through the resurrection of Jesus on the Easter day. Hindsight is a marvellous thing. We know the result that on the third day Jesus came back to life. But have you ever thought what it was like for the disciples who, although heard Jesus speak about his death and resurrection, didn't fully understand or expected it to happen until it actually happened? As the disciples and particularly the women approached the Easter day, they had many worries and concerns, yet they approached the tomb and the new day with hope. They were pleasantly surprised when they found the stone rolled away and the tomb empty. The Lord had risen and their lives were never the same again. As we approach Easter and look beyond with hope of normal life without restrictions, we need to be aware that we will forever live with the effects of the pandemic and the events of the last year. The life will never be same again, but we move into the future with hope, trusting the risen Lord Jesus Christ. And may the risen Lord himself grant you peace through his death and joyful hope of better things to come through the power of his resurrection. Amen. <laughs>